I'm pretty excited. This, my friends, my red friends, if I may say so, is the delivery <coughs> of the Polyant Tracker, which I'm going to unbox now. I don't know why I'm filming the unboxing, but I'm filming it, because even I sometimes want to unbox something on video. So, in order to prevent cutting myself or injuring the audience with this hobby knife, I cut it open off camera. I'm really excited, everybody. Here we go. So, and of course, there's a box in a box. Which is pretty nice. <coughs> Let me get rid of this box. Put this on the floor. And here we are. Standalone audio workstation. Now, yeah, there we go. Here we are. In all of its glory. Still wrapped in plastic. Yeah, there's the buttons that you can always hear click in all the review videos that I've been watching <laughs> over the past couple of weeks. Let's get the device out of the box. It's compact yet, what I really like is the display is large enough to have a lot of information backside. Now what I'm really curious about, and what I think I already noticed, is the material it's been made of. Let's put it aside for a second and see what else is in the box. Come on. Okay, sticker, of course. Nice one, I have to say. There's nice texture there. like it. Manual, video tutorials, newest firmware and more can be found at polyand.com. I already know this and some kind of warranty information and where to email if something is wrong. That's all fine. I don't think there's something here, but of course I'm expecting a couple of accessories. I have read up from the internet what should be there. And I don't know how to open this. I really don't want to uh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Alright, here we go. First of all, of course, different plug bits. This must be yeah, that's the power brick where the pluggy bits go. USB to USB C cable. What do you call this? Braided. Nice and long too. This looks to be audio, well audio, in or out, I can't tell. This of course is the MIDI conversion plug from the small one to the 5 pin DIN plug. And this is the SD card reader. Now if I'm correct, According to, yeah, and I can already see it, there's a, an SD card in here, it slipped out a little, probably during transport. Now let's carefully open this up and have a look at the machine itself before we go any further. Okay, plastic comes off, box is made the box may stay there for a minute and let me have a look at this device in all of its glory I do apologize because there's no plant in this video first thoughts I love the form factor I already knew this but seeing it in real life I love it these are very tough. I thought they were 
not as clicky as these, but they would um, go down some way, but they don't. All these are, they are mechanical from what I've read, and that's how they feel. And this is that typical clicky sound that I heard in all the review videos I looked. Also, of course, this jog dial has yeah, very satisfying, very subtle and soft, but very satisfying. You can go from position to position, which is of course very handy when editing data on the screen. Yeah, very nice. Also, what I've noticed, this one has the, I think, the brushed aluminium front plate, which means that this must be one of the older generation models. Bef uh, uh, built before September 2021, if I'm correct. From what I've read online and heard in videos, in September they came out with a new material for the front plates, which is some kind of plastic, but high quality plastic. And I can't remember what the reasoning was, but from that moment on, they also upped the price. I found this baby for the old price which is over here in the Netherlands 525 euros now it was it took quite a while to find this because several stores sell this at six almost 600 euros here then I found it at one store that I've never bought from before but I know because they have physical stores as well and I know them from being in the physical stores that was 499 they said it was in stock it would be delivered after waiting for a week no movement i asked them is it really coming and they said actually no because the stock count on the site was wrong and i'm third in line then i noticed that the one of the bigger dutch music stores bax shop had dropped the price from from 280 um sorry moron 589 to 525 so i didn't hesitate and bought it immediately i know back's shop often changes price daily so the price can vary from day to day so i jumped on it and cancelled the other order perfect so that's 26 euros more than what I would have paid, but I'm fine with that. That also meant that I ordered this yesterday and it just arrived, which is great. All right, more. Uh, let's let's have a, another look. I really like those buttons. Those those are going to be really helpful with when editing with stop, start, copy, and whatever. Screen is nice and big. On the back side, of course, we have the USB, uh, Jesus, I'm rusty, SD card slot with SD inside with 16 gigabytes of memory. If that's not enough, I have a 32 already. This looks like audio in, out and MIDI. Does it say anywhere? Yes, it does, but it's pretty dark in here right now, so. It says out, line in, so out, line in, microphone, oh separate microphone, cool, MIDI out and MIDI in, even though there's only one MIDI cable that came with it, that's fine. USB-C of course, and the power button. So now, and there is something here which, there's a little hole there don't know if it shows on camera probably not no it's too dark the camera can focus on it okay that's fine it's a little hole i'm assuming that's the one of these reset holes that you put a pin in now let me have a look because i'm kind of curious does the fact that there's no adapter plug connection. Does it mean that this is 
Yeah, and there's my answer. It is actually a USB plug. So that's fine. Now I'm, as said, in the Netherlands, so I'm going to need this bad boy here. This looks like turning mechanism or something. Holy crap, you need a pilot's license to do this. Oh, actually you don't. <laughs> Alright, no pilot license necessary. Don't worry if you cannot fly a plane. You can still power up your polygon tracker. Now, I'm not going to power it up in this video. Because I really want to get to know it before I show more of it. This is a very nice cable guys. Very nice breaded cable. Or braided. Probably mispronounced uh, it. Very nice. Pretty long too. Yeah. That's I think a meter and a half. Or one and a half meters. Yeah. Fits nicely. Tight. Of course it's USB-C which means, and I already saw that, I can also power this from um, the power brick, I have one here. Well, let's power it up anyway, just to have an impression of what it looks like when you power it up. Come on, yeah, there we go. I have a power brick here, and of course, the silly USB A is always turned the wrong way, therefore, we have USB C, which always works no matter what. And then, here we go first. Put away the danger buttons before anybody in the audience gets hurt. Now, if you're ready, let's power this baby up. Yeah, there we go. Short flash here, the buttons. Okay, it's on 1.4, so it has been updated. I did download the 1.5 already, which just came out. And this, guys, is... This is really really exciting to me okay it starts up with I th there's a wave here there's a few notes in here so there's probably some kind of demo song here i have no idea how this device works exactly what to do first so i'm gonna figure it out and come back when i start to make my first sounds with it um what I can do though is, yeah, see, this is what I mean. This is what I meant. This button has this these separate positions which makes scrolling so easy. And of course I should be able to do, yeah, just like on a computer, which I don't need to use this device. This, guys, this is, for me, this is very exciting. Now let me explain why this is so exciting to me. Because you probably know that I have been uh, working, I have a lot of experience from the past with computer-based MIDI sequencers and uh, later on also real digital audio workstations or DAWs as they're called right now, which are actually just computer-based MIDI sequencers but with added audio, audio functionality, which gives you a realm of uh, uh, possibilities to work with. And I never got used to DAWs, no. MIDI sequencers, on the other hand, fine. But, when I started building my setup, about a year and a half ago, I decided I wanted to go computerless, or DAW-less as it's called often. Why? Because um, my daily work is on computers, and I really want to create music without computers. Now, you may laugh because of course this is half a computer or maybe it's a, it's a full computer, but I don't need a laptop or a computer screen to operate or use this. Also, one of the biggest challenges in this device is the fact that the workflow for this is so different from what I'm used to that I know that this is going to be a huge challenge 
to learn to work with this. First of all, I'm not a sampler guy. I have owned samplers in the past, years and years ago. Uh, Akai S2000 with extras and zip drives and whatever. Used them a lot, but I went away from that to full synthesizer only. And of course, in my current setup, I went with uh, modular, semi-modular, uh, hybrid digital synths, uh, right now, full digital sequencer, the Cork Poly, and uh, not the Cork Poly, the Cork SQ64. I'm very sorry, I'm really tired today. And some more bits and bobs that I use. And this is a different breed of machine that I just added to my arsenal here. This not only forces me to work in a different way, because of course now the sequence is in this horizontal layout, uh, vertical layout instead of horizontal, of course. But also, it has everything to create a full song in the device, which means that I can use it standalone, which I'm really uh, looking forward to because I can actually take it to the couch and do something there on the kitchen table, instead of always being in my little studio here. But it will also play nice with all my other stuff. It actually has two MIDI channels, so it can also run my other stuff that has MIDI. But I can probably easily sync it up with my Cork sequencer and add it, uh, or have this as, as a complementary device, complementary instrument to my um, existing collection of musical instruments. And it's this flexibility that this device brings that excites me very much. When I was young, um, workstations were the thing to have. You know, the bigger synthesizers with the full keyboards, mostly five octaves, and then everything in the box to create a full track. Sequencer, often eight track sequencer built in if you had the money you could you you had uh, a workstation that also had effects section so you could use the effects to produce a full song within the device which is very exciting to do and this is to me after all these years the first device that i think allows me to do that but in a totally different form factor because of course here there's no five octave keyboard, but it does understand MIDI, so I can hook up a keyboard to it. And of course I can play the notes here as well. And the focus is way more on the structure of the sequences. So it is of course a tracker, which means that the sequence is the heart of the device but it has everything in this box to create full songs or tracks with it. And I'm going to sample. I have to. And that excites me. Now, for now, this is it. I am very excited, as I have already said, and you already know. So, the unboxing was fun, a pleasure. Um, nicely built device. Fortunately, it came completely unscratched, scathed, whatever. It seems to be looking perfectly. I'm going to play with it a little bit. It's already a bit late here, so it's about dinner time. I'm probably going to use the whole weekend to familiarize myself with this device. And as soon as I created some notes or something in this, I will do another video. So for now, thanks if you've been watching. I know it's a bit long. I took my time to really appreciate this device, which I actually prefer to call instrument. Hope you're well. I'll see you soon.